Hello, Mr. 0063 back for part 3 of I Wanna Go The Jungle Adventure. Last time I cleared area 2 and uh, went and that area went pretty well other than the last screen. Uh, but yeah, this is where I said the difficulty is really going to ratchet up. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to guarantee that this, um, that this area I'll be, I'll be able to constrain to one video. This one might have to go into two, who knows, maybe even further longer than that. Uh, but anyway, wow. Let's uh, let's uh, kick off uh, and immediately get introduced to what? To our new uh, wall jumping gimmick, and it is the floaty jump. So um, yeah, for as long now as I do not touch the ground, uh, I have the I have this sort of floaty jump uh, in operation. Uh, yeah, whenever I am uh, making my way through the area. So uh, yeah, wow, dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. So yeah, so uh, you, you keep this, um, or I keep this now until I touch the ground. So once I've touched the ground, it now wears off. Um, but oh god, I forgot which which wall jump that was. That was to what it was going to do to me. So I panicked. But um, oh well. Uh, yeah, it's um, this one's kind of well, this one's interesting. It's um, usually um, fun. Uh, it usually uh, means that you can pull off uh, a lot of uh, like really cool manoeuvres that obviously otherwise you couldn't. And there's usually something um, uh, stylish looking about having done so. So uh, yeah, I kind of uh, like this uh, uh, style of wall jump. Why? Right, come on. Oh my god, mini spikes. The, the bane of my ex life, seriously. Or the bane of these fan games anyway. Not Maybe not life, I don't really, I don't really encounter too many mini spikes uh, just generally uh, you know, as I you know day to day but uh, wow in fact I don't even need to really try and make that I'm trying to be too sort of too good for my own benefit I could just do this I do need to rest here because I do need to get my <sighs> when I don't sort of fail the cliff jump but I do I do need to, I do need to rest here in order to get my um, uh, double uh, yeah double jump back so uh, yeah okay let's uh, wall jump properly this time and there we go right and mess that up. Wonderful! Okay, so I was too high up there. The floaty jump uh, meant that I, uh, well, yeah, I was too high up when I tried to pull off that manoeuvre. Okay, so I need to be lowered down and not so close to the damn spike. And it is, it is very sort of off-putting. Like that bit at the bottom there, where you kind of like go so fat. No! Can I save myself? I'm not sure I can. I can. Oh, that's not how you're supposed to do that. But but um. Oh well. Damn it! I was so close to the end as well. Who knows? I might have screwed up the last little bit. But um. Yeah. I'd really like this for the screen not to take an eternity. But um. Yeah. This bit at the bottom. Uh, went with the bloody mini spikes um but no when you kind of like um go so far off screen with the uh you know while upside down uh, and obviously if i was right side up when i did when i do that i, I would die but uh, yeah you don't die as the previous one uh, told you previous area told you when you're upside down um but uh, yeah it's it's incredibly off-putting uh, in terms of knowing where you, or in terms of um identifying where you need to go yes no um, okay, cool, yeah, this, this, this screen wasn't, uh, wasn't, uh, starting to get on my nerves, uh, in the slightest, let's, uh, let's just do it, do it all again, sure, why not, mm. wonderful, wonderful, I love that, oh my god, why, why? <laughs> Seriously? Good grief. See, the problem now as well is every single sodding death on this... on this screen is just gonna annoy me to the nth degree because I had it done I had it done and I yeah fine it was my fault but good grief 
And I, whoa! What was I doing? And I feel like this is causing me way too many problems. That's why is that seriously? Now, like I said, now basically every single sodding death now is just gonna. It's just gonna tick me off to ne next to no end. I mean, you know, I, I had the sc I had the screen done. I even managed to pull off, you know, the last little bit, which I'm sure next time I get up to that point is probably gonna kill me. Um, and uh, yeah, I that's just completely soured my entire mood now, really. Uh, unless I can beat this again pretty shortly. But now I'm just making stupid. Uh, I'm getting flustered. I'm making stupid um, mistakes. Um, you know. Failing cliff jumps, I'm... Th this bit here is just... Oh my goodness, I don't even get a chance to get up to the point where I was saying this bit because I was being, I don't want to say too cocky because that jump is nothing and I somehow managed to screw it up. But, um... Yeah, good grief. Thank you, and we're going to save immediately and bloody hell... I'm gonna. I'm thankfully. I'm not gonna have to be ticked off now for for too much longer. Okay. Well, I might be because one of this screen is one of the um, for the second. Oh, by the way, yeah, that was the first. Yeah, obviously that was the first screen uh, of the area. So um, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna say it was like insane difficulty, but compared to you know the uh, the uh, the first screen of uh, area one and area two. That's, yeah, that kind of takes things to, um, yeah, a bit of a kind of a new level. Anyway, okay, right, what we need to do here is get the floaty jump over to the stick jump in between here, through the mini, sp uh, mini, the, uh, mini spikes. Come on now. I don't like this first manoeuvre, by the way. Just, it just, it just feels odd and this and that that seriously the actually the um, wall jump off of that icy wall there or the slippy wall whatever you want to call it is one of the worst ones of this screen without any shadow of a doubt because of the, the, the spike that you almost always wow uh, run into while you're wall jumping off of it and you then have to sort of pull off uh, one of those uh, in between sort of jumps like that that one there that I really don't like and and wow and I screwed up the platforming bit which is as I said in part two don't underestimate the regular platforming it's not too difficult but when you're twitching when you've just pulled off a really kind of a intricate difficult um, wall jumping section and you're kind of you know excited <laughs> and a little nervous then uh, yeah it'll tend to happen And uh, for some reason there, it didn't. Uh, the jump didn't register. I actually didn't position myself in the best possible place there. I wanted to. I was aiming for between uh, the two, the two uh, upward-facing spikes, and I landed on the right, right one. But still, I still think I pressed the jump button uh, before I reached it. And uh, well, yeah, we've all we've been going. I want to say about. Over eight minutes. Uh, the second screen is not is nowhere near done. I'm not even there isn't even a, like a halfway point save uh, on the second screen. And uh, yeah, like I said, this this is where I think the difficulty ratchets up. Ratchets up. Um, and uh, yeah, I cannot guarantee for the slightest bit guarantee that. Um, oh come on, no! Um, that this is good. I'm going to be able to do this all in one part. Um, this is. Um, this is where the game gets difficult for me. I say I have no real issue with um, stages one and two. I mean, sure they have their they have their moments, but um... oh, I can't do that jump. Why? But uh, yeah, stage three is um, stage three is something. Okay, good grief. Right, pause here while I pay attention to figure out what on earth is going on here. Okay. Right. 
Okay, so I'm going to need to full jump so that I keep my double jump for the last little bit. Gotcha. Too high on the stick one, and I and that was pretty much that had pretty much screwed me over, and I'm really annoyed about that because that's probably the one of the you know these certainly easier than the, than the, this first bit. Seriously, getting down getting down to the bottom is probably the uh, one of the hardest bits of or the you know the hardest bit of uh, this screen, at least in my opinion. So um, yeah, that was oh what is uh, wrong with that bit down there? It's not that difficult. Well, nowhere near as difficult as I'm making out. That was close. Way too close. Okay, so again, full jump. Holy crap. Right, not so high on the sticky one. That's not it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought I cut that way too close. Oh my god, right. Anyway, we actually have a kind of a fun area now. This this bit, uh, or at least the first bit of it. This bit is uh, tremendously fun. So it's making use of these uh, uh, wall jumps. Whoops. Uh, the slidey ones, you know, to get to get past uh, all these um, damn it, uh, mini spikes on the wall. I really like the I really like this first area. We'll see how the second goes, but uh, yeah, this first one is really nice. And we're done. Excellent. Told you I like that first area. It's, it's also it's also pretty straightforward as well. But, uh, oh well, let's see how the next bit goes. Okay, so jump through here. Over there to get the double jump replenisher. Jump through here. And mess that up. I need to be. I need to keep my full jump, I guess. Otherwise, my uh, uh, double jump replenisher is not going to work. No, I have to use it here. Oh no! I just said I just need to be careful through there. No, I'm being an idiot. Okay, full jump over here, so I get my double jump. Okay, I didn't go to the wall. Why, for some absolutely unknown reason, I thought I had a double jump or something. I didn't didn't go for the sodding wall. No idea what I'm do what I was playing at there. And that's kind of annoying because this. Well, it's very annoying because it was pretty much like, you know, almost the last jump uh, on the screen. Um, but this gate jump down here, with the floaty jump, and having no real way to steady yourself, uh, you never quite know how uh, really how high you're going to wall jump uh, off the wall. You never quite, you, you're probably never quite off wall jumping off the wall in the same, uh, uh, the same height every time. Uh, that gate jump is um, uh, particularly irritating. I think without the floaty jump, I'd kind of be... Uh, Less inclined to to be annoyed, get something, or you know, not like it quite so much. But brilliant, brilliant. The last little bit, not even really, uh, as I say, not even the uh, wall jumping part of it. Really, that that was just uh, an uh, la making a la making a landing and not screwing it up horribly. Uh, no, I hate the goat jump. I hate the goat jump. Right, good. I do like these red ones, though, I must admit. Well, they look red to me, anyway. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. Making progress, feeling happy. Particularly after that shocker of a first screen. No, I need to full double jump so I can... Uh, so, oh, sorry, full jump so I keep my double jump. I need to practice what I preach. I've been saying it so blooming often. Round there, good. This jump is kind of annoying. The, I wouldn't. It's it's the sort of a combination of the this the, or the. To be honest, it's main it's mainly the spike uh, sort of um, hanging down the other side, rather than the gate jump. Although I forgot I had the floaty mechanic, and I don't really know why. Um, rather than the gate jump itself per se, but by not trying to hit that. Um, other spike, you end up probably uh, sort of messing. Oh, that was terrible! I hit my head. Uh, you end up sort of messing up the gate jump just because you're not trying to hit the other spike. If that other spike wasn't there, 
uh, I'd say this would be no problem whatsoever. It's just a sort of game jump from a standing start. But because like that was that was a perfect example, I would normally never sort of land on the spike there the way I did. But because I was trying to not, that's not good. That's not good either. But yeah, because I'm trying to not hit the spike to the right of it. Um, yeah, it's going to happen. Okay, not good. No, too too high. That's not good either. That's too low. That's okay. Okay, let me think about this. Okay, I'm going to be upside down. I, uh, b -b -b huh? Did I do... I... Uh, hmm. <laughs> Forgive me, I don't quite know... What happened? I... Huh? I was expecting to be upside down, and then... Yep, yeah, okay. Oh, blimey. Okay, so I'm expecting to be... Yeah, thank... What? No, 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 no! Am I going... So you're telling me I was too high for my... Okay. Um, second jump. So that I was actually landing back on the, the flipper one again. Because that's the only conclusion I can draw. Damn it, I was too high. And that's very bizarre on that stick jump. Yeah, so that, lo that bit down at the bottom left, I need to be... Up, flipped upside down, and then I need the fl come on now, and then I need the floaty jump um, in order to get over the sort of uh, the, the, the the sort of the the, the area where there is uh, a, a low a low spike uh, to the ceiling because I'm going to see. Oh no, this isn't actually doable anymore. Oh, it is doable. Okay, that was amazing, and I screwed it up. Wonderful. Pull off the. Pulled off what I didn't even think was possible, and then screwed up the next bit. Wonderful. And I didn't get the wall jump I wanted. Was it the game's fault? Was it my fault? It was probably my fault, but I'd like to blame the game. Because it happens way too often, for my liking. And I don't tend to think that I'm, like... You know, that it would happen that often. Okay, so let's not... Land there this time. No, there we go. Right. So, right, that's what I wanted, except I was way too high. But I'm not quite sure how I'm not going to be, like, re pretty high anyway, because I'm going to have to full jump. Otherwise, damn it. Oh, wow. Otherwise, I'm not going to get. The um the double the double jump back. No. Yeah, oh mate oh well I did there uh, somehow and I screwed up the timing of it. Yay. Yeah, these are these are so the, area three is where I think the difficulty really does start to um become significant. Wow, that was bad. Um, a lot of these screens as well don't have like, you know, halfway save points or anything like that as well, so uh, you know, they can be pretty tricky. Okay. No, I'm kind of getting it and kind of not. And I, I really don't actually think the bit after that is all that difficult? I don't think, at least, we'll have to obviously see how it plays out, but too high, unbelievable, for that wall jump there, that sticky one. Ideally, I'd like to be about as, almost as high as you could be. Come on, this first, man this first manoeuvre is like, not the easiest thing to do, and it's kind of annoying me now. That was, that was just, yeah, if, 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 if I screw up there and I sort of hit my head, then uh, the chances of me being able to recover the situation there are slim. I mean, not impossible, but when something, that was too high, oh, 
The chances are, when particularly when you're wall jumping, or when I'm wall jumping anyway, if something goes wrong, it is going to be incredibly hard for me to sort of, like here, like here, wow, like to me to sort of uh, correct myself. I did, I, 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 I got on the bloody flippy wall jump again and screwed myself over. No, don't like that. No, I, I did see. I, I was, I was mucking around too much on that sticky one, just to the point where uh, I, f I figured, no, it's, it's not going to happen. I was, yeah. I, I say, if, if something goes wrong and I have to, I feel like I have to spend ages like correcting myself. Uh, it's, it's, it's not going to happen. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm going to restart. I'm just going to fix me to say, okay, I'm just going to press R and restart it, but. Because that would be really dumb, but there's always a chance. But um, uh, it's incredibly unlikely. I don't like that. I thought I was way too high. Right, can we please... What happened? I didn't... That time I didn't get the double jump back. This is really... Confusing me because the last couple of times I've been not going anywhere near. Wow, not been going anywhere near off screen. Like because I'm because I'm effectively holding down the jump button. I'd be doing like a full, a full soup, full super floaty leap. Um, but I still had the double jump. That time I didn't have it. I just I just lost it. Unless you're telling me that I didn't press it in time, but. Given the spike I hit, I can't believe that was the case. This bit here is now... Oh, wow! See what I mean there? I, I held down the thing so I'd have the full... So, I, so I'd, I'd definitely have the double jump, but I was off screen for so long that it was I could barely see where I was going to land. That was way too close for comfort. I don't like that either. I, I, as I said, I didn't like it. I had to reset and um, yeah, not gonna go well. Okay, this screen is um, starting to, yeah, this screen is becoming the most annoying of the, in the uh, playthrough so far, no question. Oh my goodness me. No, way too high. I, d I don't believe that. That's such a that's such an annoying jump, even if without the sort of like the floaty mechanic or, or anything. It's seriously the gap there between the the ceiling and the and that's what what will be a ceiling when I'm upside down. Oh my goodness! Uh, and that spike is is. Uh, Yeah, and I don't want to be dying to something like that. That was dreadful. That's too high. Oh, my goodness me. Right. I feel like I want it to just, yeah, fall off like that. Please don't mess this up. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Holy crap. Right. Uh, let's press on a little bit longer um, and immediately screw up. Now, I'm not quite sure. What? Hang on a minute. That's not it, is it? Um, okay, I need to think about how on earth I'm going to do this. Because I swear that when I actually like did this very recently, I actually didn't make use. Oh, there's a bloody say. There's a bloody. Oh, right. Okay. Now I've got my. Now I've got my head sorted. Yeah. All right. I should go for that. Yeah. Okay. I'm just being an idiot. In fact, I'll do it this way. Well, I'll try and do it this way anyway. Thank you. Right. Yeah. I swear that I can kind. What? what? The, the way I do it is so that I actually don't use the bit at the top at all. So I'm able to I'm able to sort of sort of keep so the the point of the bit at the top is is 
so you can so you can do this bit without a double jump. But hang on, what the hell is going on? I'm, I'm getting I'm getting ridiculously confused now. Um, no. Okay, hang on. Sorry, apologies. I'm I'm trying to figure out. Say some say sometimes it's just that's dreadful. What am I doing? Sometimes it's just not ob obvious what you should do, and and, I, and clearly you're probably meant to use the um, bits of the you know, the area at the top um, to, you know, to 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 save your double jump, but you actually don't have to. Or I'm pretty sure you don't have to. And I think that way is just this the way I'm trying to do it. It actually ends up being so much. Oh, if I hadn't done that, if I hadn't like jumped so high there, I'd have been okay. But yeah, I swear this is I don't this this presumably is not intentional. But there you go. You can clearly do that without the need for the bit at the top. So um, yeah, it's my it's my preferred way. So um, yeah, I'll just. Uh, I shall do it that way. I doubt that's as, as intended, but I say, who cares? It's uh, it works for me. So uh, yeah, anything that makes things just slightly easier, slightly less convoluted. Not that, that in the end didn't turn out to be you know a little bit convoluted because I was still trying to figure out uh, exactly. That's just dreadful. Uh, exactly uh, the, 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 the setup I needed for it. Whether I needed to be up when I needed to be you know upside down and right side up, but still. Okay, so for this bit, you need to go over to the bottom there and get the floaty jump and then get up here. Right. Right, fall off and not do that. Wonderful. Okay, anyway, let's restart from that from the beginning. Okay, so down, oh goodness me, down here over and over. Right, to get the floaty one with a full jump. Right, then use the two stick ones. Wow! I could have even saved myself there! And I decided, no, didn't, didn't fancy that. This, that. That jump there with the floaty jump. Again, because I feel like I need to save my like double jump and I'm sort of holding down the button full does tend to become a little bit tricky, but no, still. Okay, so let's not mess this up first. Right, grab the double jump over here, here. Yes, you beauty! Now don't screw the cliff jump bit up. Yes! Okay! I, water does not restore your double jump. The sign there. Okay! I didn't realise we were quite so near the end. I do not have to cut anything. And we're going to have stage three done in one video. Okay. Yippee. Okay. So for as hairy as one of those screens was, and the fact that I had to redo screen one, that actually went by amazingly well for me <laughs> I, I'm I could complain uh, about certainly about screen one and indeed that screen that took at probably about 10 minutes but if not more but okay I am so happy to see the end of this and this is a nice little uh, fun for the most part um, <laughs> fun drop through the water with all these different wall jumps uh, obviously having to make your way uh, you know, through so we have the regular wall jumps we have the sticky ones uh, we have the ice ones. We have the ones that flip your um, which way up you are. It's a really nice, yeah, really nice kind of a little area. If you don't not wall jump, which again just happens way too often for my liking. I mean, happening at all is probably way too much for my liking. But you know, you can forgive the odd one or two. But I say I I, I just I presume I presume ultimately it has to be my technique. But you know. On the flip side, it just it just seems to happen way too much to the, to the point where I oh really yeah, where I think I can't suck that badly. <laughs> Maybe I have delusions of grandeur. I don't know. R really? Um, in case you're wondering, it is the bottom bit of this. That's, that, wow! In case you don't wall jump again. Um, it is the bottom half of this. Oh, boss, boss. What? No, 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 no. There's, there's no way I shouldn't have wall jumped there. No way at all. Yeah, it is the bottom bit of this, uh, of this, uh, this screen that uh, causes the problems. I say it is. Okay, this is starting to annoy me. Um, 
it is the, uh, like I said, somewhat sort of token area. Um, I should probably stop saying token because, you know, they, they are, they can still be tricky. They tend to be the sort of the um, fun show off kind of everything that kind of took place on a level uh, screen. But um, yeah, they're um, anything but uh, straightforward. Thank you, and we're done. And uh, make sure that I hit the save about 300 times before moving on. Oh boy, okay. This is going, despite some problems there, amazingly well. If you told me that I would have beaten the first three areas in, in less than an hour, I would have bitten your hand off. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm th actually really, really pleased how this is going. In fact, it could have been a whole lot better other than two screens uh, on that previous area. But uh, yay, oh well, I'll take it. So yeah, I shall leave it there. That was area three. That's where the, the difficulty, in case you couldn't tell, did ratchet up. And uh, yeah, it's going to continue again in area four. Uh, but I will save that for next time. And until then, cheerio.